Welcome back to another episode of Bennett Gets Hit on the Head. And we are going to continue a few quests. In this case, it's the Yogo Cleansing. And we have to go to, well, Kazari, which should be... There we go. Right down there. Well, not really in that pond, but I just wanted to get the fish. She is... Uh... Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Hmm. Totally forgot about that. I have to get down here. Damn. So, is there a quicker way down? I mean, there was, right? But right now I'm just uh, following the normal way down. There we go. Oh, wait. Am I? Yeah, I'm electrified. I should be able to pass through. No. Bollocks. All right. Uh, just give me a second. Where was that stuff? There was a little tree somewhere around here. There we go. Zoo. Ah, righty. Oh, let's get this knuckle weed here. Very important. So then, Kasare. Hmm. Miss Masked Maiden, we're back. You did a wonderful job. I can hear the Thunder Sakura Roots singing your praises. I have something to confess to you. Go ahead, tell us. What is it? Hmm. When you first acquired the Konda Village Ward, I said that you were the destined one. In truth, I didn't have full confidence in your virtue and courage at that time. But as the cleansing ritual progressed, you not only showed me my folly, but you also far exceeded my expectations. So much so that I can't help but feel sad. If there had been someone like you by the Kitsune Saigu's side, then perhaps... Perhaps what? Eh, nothing. I was just rambling. So that's a wrap then? What's our reward? <laughs> Indeed, what will it be? <laughs> this isn't over yet, is it? Hmm. No, it isn't. As expected of the one who could easily lift the five barriers, you have the ability to see through things like the moonlight pierces the clouds. The Sacred Sakura Cleansing Ritual has one more step to go. What? There's another step. As a prize for protecting the land and absorbing the filth, Miasma will accumulate in the roots. You have lifted the barriers and defeated the demons created by these defilements. Just as the Grand Shrine has its branches, the Thunder Sakura are just the side branches of the Sacred Sakura in Mount Yogu. The five roots are the main parts. Most of the filth they absorb has in fact been transmitted to the Sacred Sakura deep within the Mount Yogu. So the most important thing is to... That's right. The key to the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is the last step, which is to lift the barrier over the Sacred Sakura and purify the miasma that has accumulated in its roots over the years. Wait a minute. The Sacred Sakura is at the Grand Narukami Shrine, right? If we tangle with these monsters right in the middle of the shrine, it would cause an uproar. <laughs> There's no need to worry about that. The Sacred Sakura's roots are sealed in the depths of Mount Yogu, far away from the shrine. Will there really be no problems? Yes, you can trust me. Hmm. If you say so, guess we'll just have to do it. Thank you. Then let's get this over with as quickly as possible. Hmm. And just like that, she head away. Now, uh, I have to talk to her again, but uh, in some different kind of depths. She's just going from one part to another. Come on. Why can't we just meet at the entrance uh, of this uh, Sakura flower thingy? Nah, whatever. I just have to check if I found any more of those... Uh, any more of those electro sigils, just in case. I have to make... Oh, come on. All right. So, let's see. She's supposed to be a little bit further down. My expectation is that... She's at the entrance uh, of one of those. Ooh. One of those tunnels. Uh, still further down. Uh, oh, right. I think this is it. Yeah. As expected. No, this is still not it. But where on earth is she? Still further down there. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Let me just get this Kabuto real quick. There we go. Oh, oh. Ah, no, 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 no. Too many. Too many. Ah, uh, there she is. Ah, maybe this uh, will unlock the electrocule that's down there. Like, maybe it breaks open uh, the floor so it can just pass through. Let's see. Hmm, this is the final barrier of the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual. If the two of you are ready... Wait, before we start, Paimon has some questions. Feel free to ask. Hmm, you said that when the time comes, you would tell us everything. Well, what does this everything include, really? <laughs> yes, but if possible, could we wait until the Sacred Sakura cleansing ritual is complete? Sacred Sakura is constantly telling me of her agony. Still, I know it is rude to ask that you wait yet more. After all, you ha too have already done so much. I'm really sorry. I hope you understand. Well, fine. Hmm, all right, but be sure to keep your word. <laughs> of course. Thank you both for more understanding. Well, I'm going to lift the barrier. East to the ocean depths, west to the cinder sea, south to the blazing light, north to the warning waters. All branches and roots and this evil. Ooh. And all of the water is disappearing as well. Ah, see that? Perfect. I just hope I don't get fried there. The seal has been lifted. Well, uh, what's next? This is a long descent. Please forgive me, but you will need to jump in next. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work out well for me. Uh, it looks so scary down there. Pamon just knows something bad's gonna happen once we jump down. Don't worry. Though the Sacred Sakura's roots may brim over with filth, she can still tell the one performing the ritual apart from other things. She will bless you with a safe landing to cleanse the last of the miasma. This, I promise. Really? Please trust me. So, what do we do after we get down there? To put it shortly, just show your courage. If the filth has condensed into a large tumor in the deeps, deepest part of Mount Yogu, and it is now tightly wrapped and suppressed by the roots of the sacred sakra, attack the miasmic tumor. It will struggle when it is attacked and may create demonic creatures to stop it. During this time, you will need to use the surrounding mechanisms to strengthen the suppressive forces of the sacred sakra roots just as you did with the five seals previously. The Sacred Sakura will thus be empowered to coordinate with you and create... Yeah, coordinate with you and create opportunities for you to attack. Sounds really scary. Well, normal things, really. Well, I thought worse, definitely. Uh, like, nothing beats Astaha fight, at least. And this cutscene or, like, scripted fight against uh, the Raiden Shogun. Anyhow, I believe in your strength. Now then. Uh, won't you be coming along? When the battle is done, I will meet you down there to finish the cleansing ritual. I'm really sorry, as I said. I'm prevented from completing this task by my physical condition. You're a ghost, aren't you? I hope you still understand. Pamon guesses this is it. So, how are you prepara How are your preparations going? Uh, I think I'm ready. Okay, please step forward then and perform the final step of the sacred sacred cleansing ritual. If there's anything you want to ask about the purification, please feel free to ask me. Well then, I wish you all the best. Jump in, just like that. Um, I don't know if I need this one though. Doom, didi doom, didi doom, didi doom. I'm not getting fried here just because I have this thing on, but I'm still not quite. Holy crap, that's deep. Let me uh, just align my fall a little bit. There we go. It's really deep. I have to look around a little bit just to... I knew it! I'm getting fried here. Wasn't the Sacred Sakura supposed to give me some... I mean, like, help there, some shield or whatever? No. The opposite happens. Absolutely nothing. Tumor me, yes, me, whatnot. Uh... I'm supposed to attack, so like, I, I think I'm just supposed to fall down here, but I'm more interested in the loot that's uh, all around the thingies. Okay, where's the next plant? One of them is over here. Let's just ignore the stuff that we may find. you got to be kidding me. Uh, looks like, look at this, I'm, am I dying? Yes, I'm dying. Uh, get them, get them what? 
And these are the demons I have to fight. Yasmic Tumor. Okay, let's just improve our damage with the shield. Yeah, there we go. Half a lot of damage. And oh, wait a minute. I need to get the thingy back. How many of the one? I'm counting two. Okay, one at the front and uh, one on the back, at least. Maybe there's a third one even. Nah, it's just easier to just uh, auto attack like that, maybe. There we go. So, bring the barrier down according to the image that appears to continue the cleansing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, this right here is supposed to be one. Yeah, this is one. Uh, one goes two to the side. This is number two. Uh, this is two, then this is supposed to be three, I presume. Okay. Uh, then we have this one as four. Damn it, where's this thing? There we go. And then we have number five. <laughs> it just adds those little teardrop icons or whatever these are. Uh, wait a minute. This is still not praying. I have to trigger the one. There we go. I think I have to do this multiple times until the whole thing is done. You can do it. Sure. Whoa. I'm not dishing out that much damage, though. Uh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Jesus Christ, what was that? Uh, that's not good. I have to say that uh, the constant triggering come on, of that shield is a bit annoying. I'm not even... Like, look at this. Um, I can't even accumulate elemental energy with this. That's not cool. Okay. Looks like I have to use her. Oh, come on. Okay, so I have to do this three times, it looks like. Now then, next one will be Ella Cool. You gotta be kidding me. Let's get a decoy out. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, come on. Okay, we got it. Where's the shields over here? So, looks like the same procedure as all the time. I uh, just... This time it's in reverse order, so... Uh, this is number two. Then we have number... This is number three. Followed by number five. Oh, you got... Come on! Okay, uh, this is number four then. Kind of sounds like the candidate for Goddess soundtrack right now. It's really cool. So, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, no, I'm taking damage. Why? I'm burning. Something strange is going on with the with the sign somehow. It like, kind of feels muffled. Come on, switch the cap. Cannot switch characters. Why not? Oh wait, I'm getting damaged too much. There we go. Is there no other way to dish out more damage? Like, a, okay, sometimes uh, it triggers like additional attacks with the. Uh, with a flower and so on. But it's not always the case. There we go. So, now that there's uh, two times. Oh, okay, now they uh, attack me as a group. Good, good, good. So, let's get ourselves like something like that. Good decoy. Come on. There we go, I need some heal. Perfect, perfect, perfect damage. Shield to boost the damage a bit. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Damn it, what's happening? Ah, oh, this constant. Oh, and of course, he's here. Why is he healing? I'm supposed to do the healing hand of him. That's weird. There we go, got it. So let's get the shield. Uh, what is what in earth is this? Okay, so this is one. Then we have like two left and two right. Uh, this is two. And this is another two. Followed by uh, three on this part over here. So this is three. This is also supposed to be free, it seems like it. There we go. So you get a shield again and start with the one. Okay, the, oh, I like it when it kind of goes like this. It makes a really complicated shape. Or let's say a more complicated shape. Like it's not really complicated. What on earth? There we go. Sometimes it uh, feels as if it's somewhat invulnerable to damage also. Don't know why. And also, if you're getting too close to it, uh, I think there's some kind of safeguard for you to uh, not glitch too much. Anyway. So what's in there? Does it just... It just makes poof and that's it. So what did I actually attack? Did I attack the roots or did I attack the evil? Seems like the evil was attacked. And the area is cleansed. Perfect. So, Cassidy. Some explanation uh, is in order. It is over. The agony that the Sacred Sakura has been going through should have dissipated. Hmm, chi uh, human child, you have done well. You truly are the destined one. Phew. What a tough battle. It's a good thing Paimon has been training you well. <laughs> thank you kindly, Paimon. Ah, oh, come on. There's no need to thank Paimon so formally. I will leave your payment for you later, as we agree. You shall not have to worry about that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did we agree on something else too? After the Sacred Sacra cleansing ritual is completed, you're supposed to tell me your story. Or well, eyes, kind of. I'd like to hear your tale too. Hmm, that's right. You can't go back on your agreement with us now. Hmm, alright. Before that, there is one thing that I'm really sorry about. I haven't had a chance to formally ask you both your names after all this time. My name's the Navarre, of course. And Paimon's name is Paimon. <laughs> that's why it's called Paimon. The Navarre Paimon. Nice names, of course. The best. I'll keep them in mind. <laughs> As I said earlier, I did inherit the memories of the Kitsune Saigu. Hmm, Paimon's super curious about this part. The Kitsune Saigu was originally of the Hakushin bloodline. She used to defend the people of Inazuma alongside the Electro Archon. I don't know how long ago it was, but in the end she was consumed by the dark disaster while fighting to protect Narukami Island. However, the barriers that she set up in many places protected a great many people. Even though I just happened to have inherited her memory, and perhaps I overstepped my bounds in saying so, but I'm truly proud of her. Hmm. Are you one of her familiars? Yeah, like the sky and earth kitsune? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did notice a very similar kitsune aura at the top of the mountain, within the Grand Narukami Shrine, but that's not the case with me. I'm not one of her familiars, but rather, when the dark disaster that consumed her was finally dealt with, her thoughts and memories returned to the soil of Narukam Narukami Island. Now you defeated my many Oshimusha during the process of performing the sacred sacra cleansing ritual. <laughs> Did you not? Hmm. You mean those ghostly samurai? They were pretty small beings. Huh. Uh, they are creatures created by the coalescence of filth. Their forms are often swayed by the thoughts and memories of the times. If you don't mind, please answer this question honestly. Is Inazuma presently shrouded in war? Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? Let's tell her the truth. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> Let's tell her the truth. I'm afraid that it's true. Well, both is kind of true. Hmm. That seems to be the case. I see. So, it is as I feared. When you told me that Oshimusha appeared during the purification of Thunder Sacra Root, I already sensed this. Well, as long as she is on the path she believes in, back to the point I am. Kazari, I'm filth condensed from the memory of the Kitsune Saigu. How could that be? Hmm, I did not suspect as much. I see. Hmm, I'm sorry that I couldn't fight along with you. I am unable to purify the filth because I was created from it myself. Her memories were so powerful that the dark disaster could not dissolve them completely. After the disaster was defeated, these memories flowed into the earth as fiery filth. That's how I was born. You said earlier that if only the Kitsune Saigu had me around. Yes, I said that. If only the Kitsune Saigu had someone like you at her side, perhaps she would have survived. How wonderful it would be if she had, uh, if she had the chance to meet you. But when I think about that, I can't help but selfishly think that if that had been the case, then I wouldn't have been born. I wouldn't have inherited the memories and nor would I have met you. So the you that I saw through the memory lens, yes, that was me in the past. At first I was quite overwhelmed, but as my memories returned, I came to know where I was from and I understand my duty. So that means what? Huh, my duty is to guard Narukami Island, cleanse the miasma and finish the sacred sacra cleansing ritual. Wait. Miss Mask. Uh, no, Miss Kazari, if you're filth yourself and the ritual goal is to eliminate filth, doesn't that mean you'll be eliminated too? Well, the word eliminated sounds a bit much, but in terms of the result, you are correct. No, that can't be. Uh, when I first realized this, I felt very uneased as well, but I've learned a lot about Inazuma through meeting you, and what I've learned relieved me. Yuroi... Uh, survived and doesn't seem to be depressed at all despite having been sealed in stone by Kanagara and doesn't seem to have a grudge against the Kitsune Saigu either. Although all is not as well as it once was, the bloodlines of the Konda and Simon in Konda village still run true to this day, which is good. Inagi Misato of the Grand Shrine was once a friend as well and that line endures. These are des the descendants of the people who protected when the disaster struck. She would be proud to know that they are well and that their bloodlines have been passed on. Still, A was a little agitated by the destruction of the catalyst that was given to Hiragi Hiroshi Kancho <laughs> by the Kitsune Segu. More than a little, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I was really bent out of shape about that. Still, I'm glad to see that it came to you, even though such twists and turns. I wonder if this is how I feel, or if this is how the Kitsune Saigo feels. In the past, I was often troubled by the fact that her mind was mixed with mine, and yet I was also something she was asked to remove. But now I am relieved. It was a pleasure and an honor to travel with you. No, rather, it was because of you that I was able to come here and carry out my final duties. Are you really leaving then? Yes. Thank you for everything, Paimon. <laughs> please, forgive me for overstepping. Uh, please, hear what I have to say. Okay, I'm listening. Do not be blinded. Do not waver. Keep walking the path that you believe in. These were the Kitsune Segu's last words before her final departing. I'm not qualified to claim the Hakushin bloodline for my own, but I believe that if the Kitsune Saigu were alive, she would give you her blessing. I hope that her words, I mean my words, would be able to ward off at least some of the lies and evil that you shall face in the future. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. In exchange, please indulge me one final time. The Kitsune Saigu always favored the beauty of short chance, although I have inherited her memories and the 1111 chance she knew, I like the grace she possessed with them. But this moment reminds me of one such chant. When shall we meet again after this parting? For life is like the morning dew. Hmm. Thank you and goodbye. It was a pleasure to meet you both. All branches and roots and this evil, and I declare it purified hereby.
Ooh. Now we have a mask. Sweet. Now what do we do with it? Kind of reminds me of the end of Fable. You're also kind of given a mask if you choose a certain way. <laughs> then you can't... You can never take this thing off. Um, pick up the mouse, okay. Can I at least get the butterfly down? There we go. Do we get anything else? More butterfly. Oh, okay. So if you need butterflies, down here is actually a very, very good spot. Alrighty. Now, spring cleaning. Just like that. Kasari, the shrine maiden, used to wear this. And uh, the mask of memories. Wait a minute. There we go. Hmm. Kasari, the shrine maiden, used to wear this mask. It is deeply stained on the inside. So memories are contained inside through which one may learn the art of creating the catalyst known as Hakushin Ring. Now that Kasari has been separated from this mask, Paimon doesn't get to call her the masked maiden anymore, right? Hmm. Alright, so let's use this thing. Uh, learned how to craft the ring. It's supposed to be a catalyst and I am kind of interested in knowing how that thing is done. So, let's see. There are some uh, sacred chakras in here. Damn it, that's not the one. There we go. Let's click the bit. So, let me just get some of those leaves here. There we go. There's one over here. Another one over here. I don't know um, what I can use these leaves for. There's probably some nice recipe in the future that I can utilize them for. But let's just be happy that they are so abundant and easy to harvest down there. Like they're pretty much all over the inner Suman Islands. But sometimes... Just want to harvest them quicker, like that. Oh, there's another one. They're really abundant. Like just a few meters to the side, and you find yourself another bloom, another petals. Alrighty, that might be it. So, uh, this electroculant, the hazard is done for. I can get rid of this, and I can now go down there to the smithy and craft some stuff. Usually what it ha happens is I tend to go... What was that? Oh, yeah. I tend to go to Mornstart because this is the area I am most used to when it comes to crafting. I kind of have like muscle memory from just going to the smith and back and smith and back and so on and so forth. But let's just uh, talk to him right now. Damn it. That is the wrong one to talk to. Ah, uh, This guy. There we go. Hajime. So, Hajime, I like have something built. Oh. And of course, uh, some of that. Let's just obtain all of this stuff. Damn it. And there we go. Yeah, where do we get that worth? You can forge it and a random event reward. Uh, that's weird. Wasn't there a third option? Kind of strange. And yeah, this. Look at this. Ah, uh, the original resin. Why would you ever want. To f use this stuff in here, like just waste your resources. This is okay. You can find this somewhere in the wilderness. Same here, but star silver is utilized for, yeah, for other things. And in the meantime, you get like thousands of uh, other iron ore. And this is the Hakushin ring. There we go. So how does that work? The Hakushin ring, a catalyst, energy recharge. So after the, that's weird, this one here has a different kind of text, slightly blurred than this one here, it's weird. And yeah, after the Catala character equipped with this weapon triggers an electro-elemental reaction, 
so it's a very specific one. Nearby party members of an elemental type involved in the elemental reaction receive a 10% elemental damage bonus for their element. Lasting 6 seconds. Elemental bonuses gained in this way cannot be stacked. Meaning that you cannot have... Like, this is the thing. Uh, it says that elemental damage bonuses obtained in this way. Meaning... I think that if you have multiple uh, Sakura Saigu items like these, then uh, you can't use both of them uh, for a character to trigger this. So let's say you have two Catalyst users, uh, one of them Electro, the other one, let's say, uh, Hydro or so, and you make them both interact with each other, then of course both of, of those effects uh, should kind of happen. Wait a minute. After the character... Equipped with this weapon triggers. Huh. Okay, so this one needs to trigger some kind of electro elemental reaction. Uh, so yeah, it can either be the water one or the electro one in this example, but only the one triggering it actually makes this uh, damage bonus. But the last sentence is kind of weird because it says elemental bonuses gained in this way cannot be stacked. What do they mean gained in this way? Gained from this effect, the Sakura Saigu, or uh, gained from making a uh, an elemental reaction or a electro elemental reaction, uh, or just getting any kind of elemental damage bonus at all. It's kind of weird. Like, what is it uh, that makes this thing unique? It does not really tell anything. It's one of those, you have to test it out and fiddle a bit with it in order to understand what this sentence means. Just scrap it and be a bit more precise with it. I mean, if you are supposed to understand the sentence, then don't go with this wishy-washy nonsense. Just saying. Okay, and I still don't have enough Northland pole arms ah, to make the last one. Like, I have... Uh, four refinement, like level four refinement on this thing. I need just one more. Same probably goes for a prototype. I still need to craft an additional one like that. But I also uh, like to keep the uh, the items here <laughs> uh, pretty pretty much available. Oh, look at that! Um, I can almost finish the bow and almost finish this thing. Oh, that's uh, that's so iffy. I just don't know which one I should go for. Because I want to um, have an interesting item build which revolves around the idea of switching from one character to the next and triggering this uh, unique effect that uh, does this singular um, almost crit like damage. Like this one, for example, here on hit, normal, or charge attack. So every time you hit an enemy, basically, you have a 50% chance to deal an additional. 240% attack damage to the opponents within a small area uh, AOE. Like, this is pretty cool. Um, so you can kind of try to trigger this, and then sadly you can only trigger this once every 15 seconds, but then you can switch to another character, trigger their uh, kind of same or similar effect again, and then you switch to the next, do the same, switch to the fourth one, do the same, and then you switch back to the first character. And then, with a bit of luck, the cooldown uh, went by and you can trigger the first effect again. So you are almost always guaranteed to have some crit-like effect. Like 240%, you can think of this as, uh, as a crit, basically. 240% attack damage. That's amazing. But it says attack damage. An additional to attack damage. ATK damage. It's not 240% damage, it's 240% attack damage. And it's also not 240% attack. So it does not just scale with attack. It could be the damage of the normal or charged attack that we do. Mm. And it's also on hit, so it may even do everything that we do. Not just normal or charged attacks. So let's say we infused it with a certain element, then it would deal a bit more damage as well. So... Yeah, same thing with this. Uh, but this one just gets multiple stacks on it. That would probably be really good on Noelle because it improves her defense, which, and this one also has defense on it, 
which almost always uh, revolves in uh, Noelle just dishing out more damage because of the way she scaled. And this one right here is kind of similar to the prototype uh, archaic. Like this one you have to attack as long uh, as you need until you trigger this effect and then wait 15 seconds. Whereas this one here makes you only wait 10 seconds. So what I'm trying to do here is keep the seconds pretty much the same so you can trigger them almost all the time. And with this being the physical damage bonus means that uh, yeah you can just deal more damage with it. And because it's physical and the icicle itself that comes down is also physical, it's not cryo or something, um, the whole thing just works. The only thing is that you need some cryo character in there or like an opponent affected by cryo and then you have to trigger this with the claymore and then the whole thing comes down and you deal more damage but you you don't have 40 percent of it ah, there we go see that this one says off attack so this one has a different kind of way of calculating i think what i have to do is read up on the wiki and see how this thing uh is calculated it's kind of weird it could be the same uh, it could also be really different anyway hitting an opponent with normal and charge attacks has a 60% chance of forming and dropping in uh, ever frost icicle so yeah uh, wait a minute 1 is 60 uh, 60 70 80 90 100 so yeah if you have this at refinement 5 you have 100% certainty to make this thing happen and all of the rest also increases accordingly. But I just don't know the maximum numbers of these. Uh, they're just getting a little bit higher as well because numbers. So the chances gets higher. So it is 100% certain. And the output damage also gets a little bit higher. And da -da 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 -da, dropping in Everforce above them. Dealing AOE damage similar to the other one. Equal to 80%. There we go. But if you make this thing cryo, then it does more damage. There's a little bit of a requirement there. There we go. Like this one just has 240% uh, all the time. In this case, you can just attack twice and the chance of this happen will just be almost 100%, let's say. Almost. Maybe you have to attack three times or four times, but the chance is pretty high. Um... Yeah, this one needs a certain requirement for it, but it also increases the physical damage. Hmm. This one scales with attack, but it also is just physical or normal damage, let's call it that. Therefore, it's increased by this value over here. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It says off attack. So if the character has a high attack value, the damage happens. So how does that one work? Uh, a chance to deal an additional 240% attack damage to opponents within a small AOE. Hmm. The wording here, an additional 240% attack damage. It kind of sounds as if this is a separate attack altogether. So let's say it's the attack, the complete attack with all its scaling, and then this thing on top of that. But again, I have to look at the wiki in order to get the full idea of it. So and this thing is just uh, regeneration of energy, triggering an elemental reaction, grants elemental damage bonus for da 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 da. It's a general elemental uh, damage bonus, but only for the one having that catalyst on. So... Mm. And then again, right, uh, you have to switch back to the previous character and then back to this one again to trigger the elemental reaction. Then we have the frost bearer again. Same idea. Same principle. What about this one? Elemental skill. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this is pretty cool. It's kind of like a switcheroo idea. You have use your elemental skill and then the rest gets stronger a bit. Uh, picking up elemental orbs, normal and charge attacks deal additional damage equal to... There we go, 20% of attack. This is just amazing. Only problem is you need to trigger the orb somehow. But yeah, then you have this one again with 
<laughs> Physical damage bonus 15 bloody percent. But yeah, the values are a little bit different. This one is 7.5 because it's a claymore and just does more damage altogether. Like 44. This is 41. So the base damage might be a little different. What about this one? Uh, 42. Similar-ish. But in this case here, it scales with attack and not with physical. Uh, this one is physical. Makes sense. Like you can't do physical damage with the catalyst users. It's always elemental. No matter what. So, what about this thing? Uh, charge attacks, yeah, on weak points. That's a bit iffy because charge attacks take long and aiming takes long. Therefore, fighting with these kind of weapons needs to be extremely high damage. Uh, like burst almost all the time. It's, uh, increase attack by 4% and normal attack speed by da 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 for 6 seconds. That's pretty sweet. The attack damage gets increased and the attack speed gets increased by it. That means like it's a do, 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 do. Kind of like that. Uh, but it's only a few percentages, so it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. And this is a pretty cool thing. Nice spambo. What else we got? Um. Yeah, this was the charge kind of thingy. Dealing elemental damage increases all damage by six. This is cool. So this is a pretty decent sword for someone who is mostly using uh, interactions. That's pretty nice. Bennett could uh, benefit from it, but the elemental mastery stat I kind of don't like with it. And the physical one. Yeah, this is just something. A nice sword. A nice well-rounded sword. Hmm. The fact that it has energy recharge is a bit iffy because I don't really have a good use for it. Like the ultimate need, uh, the, the burst needs to be extremely strong from the get go. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty usable. So that you can uh, get a good benefit from triggering it multiple times. But most of the time you're just utilizing the uh, the burst once. You do the damage uh, and then you switch to another character. Play them a little bit. And then you switch again. So the burst is mostly used as some kind of utility attack that boosts stuff. Uh, like for Bennett at least it is the healing ability and so on. And it's the elemental skill that does the damage. Or the normal attack or whatnot. <laughs> There's never really something else. Could also just be that I play the characters in some kind of a supporting role, that's why. Like some characters have some auto attack that happens. Uh, that makes them really good. So. And... What is it that I wanted to do next? I wanted to do some exploration, uh, but this has to be postponed. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, yeah, there's still other stuff. Like Araumi, at least this part right here, has been explored. So it is the southern part of it that I can do now. Let's do that real quick. Let's do some exploration. <laughs> Yeah, that stuff I already obtained, pretty much. These are the totems. Is there anything else here? No. And there's the kid. I don't know if I triggered him in his little Tamari game before. I think not. So let's see here, big bro, do you want to play a game of Tamari? Uh, yeah, why not? Ooh, the goal is to find the Tamari within the limit. Okay. Bigger, smaller. Okay, I have to go this way. Then, where is it? Ah, down here, found it. Easy mode. Now then, big bro, do you want to play the game of Tamari again? 
you found it so easily last time, so I want to make things a little harder. I found a location that's particularly difficult. Alright, let's do this. Okay, it's easy. Okay, and I found it. The thing is, I have no idea how to get there quicker. I need to be careful with my energy, so don't spend too much of it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it. Mm. I hate the mountains so much. <sighs> this is something that I absolutely despise about the climbing mechanic. That if you hit your head, you immediately fall down. You're, you're, you're getting blocked. There's no way for you to actually, like... Come on. Okay, and I also don't want her breathing, Dominic. There we go. So, let's wait. Three, two, one. All right, that should do it. It's a bit annoying. Really annoying. Running out of stamina and needing to find the perfect place. To claim bobwits. Okay. This is not it. This one goes down. This one goes up. This one is it. Okay. And I found it. Ooh, that's an interesting cave. Was I ever down here? I think I was. Hey, we got ourselves the precious little chest. Perfect. Anything else? No. So, uh, Big Bro, you're really good at this game. You can. You even cracked my Kuchirai art to Mm hmm. So, let's see. He does not disappear. Like, he's always somewhere in the wilderness with different... Yeah, it's a different kind of person. I just never really know if I finished them or not. But yeah, as soon uh, as long as you see the Tamari next to him, that means you basically finished his little quest line. Or whatever this thing is supposed to be. Alrighty. Let's see what the Tanuki can do. One of them is gone. The basic idea is just to rush them down to trigger their uh, little teleportation. Come on. There we go. And just destroy every little uh, object that you can find. There's the other one. Ah, what, is, what do we have here? That one seems to be special. What does it turn into? Ah, it would be wonderful if we could da 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 da. Oh, almighty Shogun, please indulge the unworthy. And we got ourselves Lucky Dog Clover. <laughs> oh, okay. So instead of turning into a large chest, they turn into small chests. Ah, what did I say? Very interesting. So the Tanuki turn into smaller versions of the bigger versions, let's call it that. Uh, interesting. So they have normal crates and these crates. Were there two or were there just... Or were there also three of those Tanuki down here? Huh. What an interesting cave. Very nice. So, what about this one? It says totems. Yes. Um, the totem is up, down, left, right. BA. Could be somewhere down here. Have to be extremely careful not to uh, drown myself. Ooh. Ah, come on there, water slimes. Let's just... Uh, Kill them like that. Huh. Elemental interactions and slimes are just so nice to use. 
Where's the dude? Come on, get closer, mate. There we go. Oh, Lisa also needs to be healed a bit. Alrighty, let's get up there. The CD was moved, okay. Ah, uh, this thing is charged up. That is good. Ugh, damn it. I just want to harvest them, but... I don't want to switch teams all the time. Hmm. Wouldn't they kind of electrocute themselves if it, ra if it rains like this? They're supposed to be electro flowers. So they will always kind of trigger their little elemental reaction <laughs> as long as it starts to rain. Or maybe the word totem was meant for these thingies instead. Anyway, this is charged up. Oh, wait, yeah, the totem was inside the building, wasn't it? Okay, so how am I going to get through here? Uh, there's a cave down there, so uh, maybe there's some kind of separate entrance. There's no way for you to fall down or anything. And... Yeah, there's still this totem, so how am I... Oh, okay. Uh, that is uh, almost too easy. Okay, I think with this, I pretty much explored all of it, except for the stuff that is hidden behind the barrier that I just cannot... Open, but wait, I opened some of those chests for now, didn't I? I did. And most of the riddles on this part here, I already solved beforehand. Yeah, I did come well prepared. There we go. Hmm. Yep, that's pretty much it. All right. Oh, wait. Let's just go around that little mountain, just in case. Just in case. Ah, oh, come on. Let's... Da, da, da. Hmm. I think now I can definitely be sure. Oh, yeah, what about that? What yes, about that there. shrine area, Mount Yogo? Is this supposed to be the actual entrance? Where is she? Where'd she go? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. She's water, isn't she? <laughs> And she's not getting afflicted by the water element. Hmm. It's only, yeah, it's mostly only slimes that afflict themselves with it. Come on. There we go, got it. Nice. At least we get some nice benefits from it. So... This... Where does it go to? Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Wait a minute. Didn't I do something in here? I triggered something. I know it, but... His 13 years of life float by... Like a dream. Uh. Did I trigger anything? Was this supposed to be some kind of riddle? Is there another one? I just don't know. Oh. Come 
Come on, come on, come on, to strike. There we go. You will not trigger your teleport again. Every time it does that, but I never actually understand how this thing is connected to the world. Either I already solved some of the missions it is related to, or there's another mission uh, that utilizes this fox. I don't know. I, f I feel as if I have done something here before. And I just forgot about that. I don't really believe that it is connected to the ghost area down there. I just... For the most part, I also don't want it to be connected to it. <laughs> uh, too lazy for everything. Alright. So, with this, uh, we can end our little episode and continue with the Raiden Shogun quest in the next one. And therefore, we are probably going to end with this teleporter over there. That seems to be a fitting location. Until then, of course, like and subscribe. Ta-ta!